Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I want to talk about 20 hygiene products you are going to need in a SHTF situation. So I love to make lists to help me stay on track and keep track of what I need to get into my preps and to make sure I have all the things that I need. In an SHTF situation, there are a bunch of dif different hygiene products that we're going to need to help keep us healthy and clean. So today I have a list of 20 of those products. I'm sure there's a lot more that you might want to have on hand, but these ones I think are absolutely essential and you can pretty much make any of the products you're gonna need with these items as well. So the first one on the list is antibacterial soap. You wanna make sure that you can get rid of uh, all those germs and stuff like that. Bar soap is wonderful, but it takes a little bit more water. So if you can put a little bit of liquid soap in there, that can be helpful as well because it doesn't take quite as much water to wash, you know, to get the soap going. The next one is antibacterial wipes. When the water is in really short supply, wipes can be absolutely wonderful. The number three on my list is bleach. Bleach is another one of those things that it has all kinds of purposes for cleaning. You can clean your water with it. You can do all sorts of stuff. You wanna be very careful with your water. And But even if you get a little bit too much bleach in there, you only need a tiny bit of bleach and but leaving the cap off that bleach and letting it dissipate for at least an hour is a is very good you want to make sure that that bleach is out of there before you drink it and bleach is not going to stay long term in the water it does dissipate so mixing it up and letting it air out is a great thing number four is borax borax is a wonderful cleaning agent and you can make tons of different cleaners with borax from your laundry soap to cleaning supplies, all sorts of stuff. It works really, really well for getting things super clean. Number five on my list is baking soda. Baking soda is another one of those multi-purpose things. You can use it in a million different ways from brushing your teeth to cleaning the oven to just about anything. There are so many uses for baking soda. I think that is one that we wanna keep a really good supply in our homes of. Number six, deodorant when you're out there working and getting all sweaty it definitely can help you and that you want to keep deodorant so we're staying fresh and clean and we want to have all those things in our preps so we have what we need when shtf happens the next thing that's really important is feminine hygiene products they you're definitely going to want those if you're having your cycle still and also if you have younger children coming up on the age to start their cycle because we want to make sure that we've got what we need for our children as well as what we need for ourselves. So even if they're not quite there yet, SHTF situations can last a super long time. I have heard of countries going down for more than a decade and I think it's important to make sure that we've got the things that we need. Knowing how to make feminine hygiene products is also a wonderful thing. The next one is dental floss. Dental floss, you wanna keep your teeth as clean as possible. And also dental floss is a wonderful thread for waterproofing. If you're having to fix a tent or a jacket or things like that, it's not going to, the thread isn't going to rot out when it gets wet over and over like your standard thread is going to. So dental floss is one of those things that we use multi-purpose and we keep a good supply of it in the house. Along with your dental floss, the next one is toothpaste and toothbrushes. You want to make sure you have plenty. If in an SHTF situation, you may not be able to get to a dentist um, or get any help at all. So you want to make sure you're keeping your teeth as clean as possible. And the next one is a portable toilet. We want to make sure in a long-term situation or even a quick grid down some places, if you live in the country and you have your own well, if the grid goes down, you don't have running water. So making sure we've got some kind of portable toilet is really important. We want to keep that sanitation in order and make sure we have everything that we need. Along with the portable toilet, trash bags. Trash bags are not just for trash. 
They, you can line your portable toilets with that and it's going to help you dispose of it without getting your hands in it and having it all over the place, which is quite nice. We do not want to be making big messes with things like that. We want to make sure that we can take care of it, keep it clean, and trash bags are great for lining those portable toilets. The smaller ones, bigger ones, whatever you have, any kind of bag is really going to work for that. Um, trash bags can be used in multiple ways of collecting water, um, you know, keeping all your trash together, making sure that everything is clean and sanitized is super important. And the next one is kitty litter. A lot of people, if you don't have a cat, you don't think about kitty litter really. Um, we don't have a cat currently, we have in the past, but kitty litter can be wonderful in those portable toilets to help with the smell, to kind of cover everything over, and it really can help with the smell. You can also use it for lots of other things. I have thrown it out on the ice uh, in the winter time, but making sure we've got it for our toilets is really important. Leaves work as well. That's another great way to go. Just our layer of sawdust over the top after you use the portable toilet. Those are all great and they're going to work in an emergency situation. And the next one is face masks. Face masks are wonderful to help with dust and keep things down, smells, things like that. Uh, if you are having to clean something out, you want to keep you know your face as covered as possible now i don't think masks are a hundred percent because you know they're they're not a hundred percent unless you're having a professionally fitted mask and then that's going to work a whole lot better but some sort of mask uh to cover up your face and when you're cleaning and things like that to help keep smells down keep dust out things of that nature are really helpful and the next thing on my list is gloves you want like nitro gloves or um, dishwashing gloves or any kind of plastic gloves so when you have to put your hands in things that are not so sanitary you're going to be able to ke help keep your hands clean so you're not getting sick the next one is something to wash your laundry and whether it's a bucket or a tote or whatever it is that you're going to wash laundry in you can make your own little washing machines um, that are used by hand. I've done a video on that quite a while ago. There are all kinds of ways you can get your laundry clean in an SHTF situation. You want to make sure you've got the containers to do that in. Along with the laundry container, you're going to want some sort of laundry soap. Whether it's soap that you made, the Borax comes in really handy for that. Um, you can make your own laundry soap and that works really well, but you want to make sure you've at least got the stuff to make it if you don't have a decent supply of laundry soap on hand. And number 18, paper plates, cups, and bowls. You don't want to use all your water up in an SHTF situation washing dishes. So making sure you've got those supplies for those situations. Uh, is really helpful because you're going to be able to conserve water and most of your paper plates, cups, and bowls can all be burned afterwards when you're done with them. If they're styrofoam, they're not going to be going in the fire hopefully, but you can dispose of them and it makes it a lot easier so you're not using up all that precious water because water is definitely your hardest thing in a SHTF situation. Number 19, paper towels. I love paper towels. I know they are quite pricey, and but they are wonderful in an SHTF situation because you can dispose of them, throw them away, burn them, whatever you're going to do with them afterwards. But they, you can clean up quick messes. You can use them for a sandwich instead of a paper plate. Um, there's lots and lots of uses for them and they can be really helpful, I think, and when you're not able to do tons of laundry or, you know, in an SHTF situation, you may have plenty of time to wash laundry, but how much do you actually want to wash? <laughs> and number 20, plastic utensils. Those are absolutely wonderful, so you're not having to wash and use up all that water. Again, in an SHTF situation, that water is so precious, you may not have access to clean, fresh water, and you really want to make sure that you're conserving as much as possible, and plastic silverware and utensils can really be helpful in those situations. 
And that's it for my 20 hygiene products that are going to help you stay nice and clean and healthy during an SHTF situation. And that is one of the most important things that a lot of people overlook is hygiene. And we need to make sure that we're staying clean and healthy for these emergency situations. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.